So let's talk about Mother Nature. As people may already know, I'm not a religious person, don't believe in religion, but I've got no problem with people wanting to believe in religion. And, you know, uh, no problem at all, but I believe in Mother Earth, Mother Nature. And I love scenery, I love seeing natural scenery, not man-made, you know, like the trees and forests and mountains and lakes and, you know, things that are, are natural. I love it, it's like the leaves on the ground, they're not man-made. Mother Nature does this every year, kind of thing. You know, this is what I love about this planet. And it's always been a thing of mine, like every autumn. This year it's gonna be better because I've got better recording equipment, but capturing autumn, capturing the leaves changing color, capturing that kind of stuff. To me, it's like, you know, nature is best, isn't it? It's just rebirth. I mean, the leaves drop to the ground, create soil that feeds the tree for the next year. It's a never ending cycle. And you gotta love it, haven't you? You gotta love it, you know. So that's, I mean, To me, religion is, is a belief. It's like how I believe in Mother Nature, Mother Earth and stuff. You know, people aren't going to... Well, no, it's the same kind of feeling, I suppose. You know, if I was a Christian or something like that, all, that it's how I would feel about that. It's the same how I would feel about Mother Earth, Mother Nature. So I can't... You know, I've got some good friends who are Christian, that kind of stuff, and other religions but I've got no problem with it you know they're happy it gives them happiness which is fantastic you know so yeah mother nature to me is the most beautiful thing in the whole world when I go traveling anywhere you know on a coach or train I can't sleep because I like looking at the scenery recording the scenery it's like as you would have seen hopefully on the journey here to Canterbury, I recorded a lot of the scenery, the countryside and stuff, you know. Um, yeah. It's, I just love it, I just love seeing, you know, natural places. Even places where people hardly go to because it's hardly, un, hardly touched and it's more natural kind of thing, you know. But in the world we're living at the moment, nothing's safe, is it? Nothing's safe. There's no blue sign here, what does that say? Shapes to... What shapes do you see? Oh, okay. It's like some kind of hunt thing, isn't it? Like, spot the signs. But forest areas, for me, are the most beautiful places. Like, if this was just a massive forest area, I'll be in heaven right now, you know. Uh, you know, it's hard to believe that Canterbury, the busy, one of the busy, one of the quite busy city, it's just around the corner, five minutes away. But places like this are just wow, you know, wow. So yeah, that's a another chat, a walking chat. Only one this time, but I'm going to try and make it every time I go places. I'm going to spend five minutes just doing a walk and chat for the week, you know. So you get to see a bit of scenery and me chatting. Maybe a bit of wildlife, like a duck, you know. A duck grooming itself, you know. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Thank you for watching.